and just in a matter of minutes, we've seen several, I think one or two, maybe even three. We're going to slice right into the tropical storm and go into three to head into your bathroom. Stay there until the storm has passed. We cannot stress enough. Stay inside. Don't try to travel today. We are here in Die Ball at the Natchez Pines Golf Course. They do have alligator signs, believe it or not. I tell you what, guys, the weather is great, and I am relaxing here in my recliner. The best seat in the house. Once again this evening, we are tracking an area of thunderstorms across the western half of central Texas. Tornado predictor Max showing not a lot going on in Waco, Temple, Colleen, or Gatesville just yet. Storms have been off to our west across parts of San Saba. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for San Saba County. That's going to go until 630. The strongest part of the storm now is getting ready to cross over the Colorado River there. Lots of lightning and thunder, some brief heavy rain and some of the brighter reds that you see showing up on the radar. The main severe weather threat though with this complex of storms will be gusty winds up to 60 miles per hour. That'll likely blow down some tree limbs, especially some small ones, leaves, light items like trash cans, lawn furniture, things like that. Haven't had a lot of reports out of the storms just yet this evening, but you can see the general motion is to the east southeast and we're going to see this impact folks around land passes in the next 30 to 45 minutes and then farther south down towards Burnett. You go farther north up towards Highway 84, just some light to moderate rain falling along 84 from Gatesville back out towards Event rain beginning to let up a little bit out towards Mills County and Goldthwaite. Right now, it looks like the bulk of the activity will probably stay south of 84. So Waco may get a little bit of rain, but probably not going to see a lot. The heaviest of the activity will be focused more from Bell County back down towards Georgetown and Burnett. So we'll continue to track these storms for you throughout the evening. Again, we do have the severe thunderstorm warning for San Saba County, but no other warnings in Central Texas just yet. High temperatures today were held down because of the cloud cover and the hazy conditions that we saw today. We only made it to 88 degrees in Waco, 90 in Temple and Gates Hill. That's about seven degrees below average for this time of year and thankfully nowhere close to the record high of 105 and you guessed it in 2011, the hottest summer on record. You can see those hazy conditions, even some storm clouds out there on our Extraco Eagle Eye and Harker Heights. This is out looking west on 190. Temperature wise, we're in the 80s currently, 86 in Colleen and Fort Hood, 88 in Temple, 87 right now in Waco and 89 in Bryan College Station. You can see those storms developing out west this evening. The trend will be for this to weekend as we head towards sunset. So by about eight or nine o'clock, I do expect a lot of that activity to go away. There have been a few isolated storms to our north in Oklahoma, but what we're going to be tracking for overnight is up here in the panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma. This area, we're likely going to see a large complex of storms develop. That complex will be diving southward into the state and could get close enough to us tomorrow to give us yet another chance of some rain. And then to our south in the tropics, here's this tropical wave we've been talking about. It's crossing over the Yucatan, so it's very unorganized right now. But once it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, there is a chance it could develop from there, it's anybody's guess on where that system is going to go. So you'll want to stay tuned for updates as we head into the weekend. Future track shows in the morning. There's that complex of storms to our northwest, but notice because it's coming in in the morning hours, it'll likely weaken and fall apart. But it could help generate a few storms by the afternoon as temperatures climb into the mid-90s. Storms will be very hit or miss, so just like today, not everybody is going to see the rain. Then as we head into the weekend, we should be rain-free on Saturday. We'll start off with partly cloudy skies and temperatures pretty nice down into the upper 60s when you wake up early in the weekend. And then Saturday afternoon, we'll see partly cloudy skies. Highs will be climbing back into the mid-90s, but... At least we're not talking about triple digits. So here's a look at your weather tracker for tonight. We'll be tracking those storms across the region. A lot of the activity should come to an end as we head towards about 10 o'clock or towards about midnight. Temperatures tonight will drop to near 70 in the morning, and then we'll see that chance of storms by midday and into the afternoon tomorrow. Chance of rain is only going to be about 40%. So again, I wouldn't count on a lot of rain, but where it does rain, it could be heavy at times. So we'll keep our eyes on it for you. A weekend should be dry and not too bad. Lows in the 60s and highs in the mid 90s. We do begin to warm up a little bit as we head into early next week. Highs around 98 by Tuesday and Wednesday and a few storm chances possible by the end of next week. Of course, the extended forecast highly depends on what happens with that little tropical wave crossing the Yucatan. As of right now, the models, well, let's just say they're all over the place. Some take it to Mexico, some bring it to Texas, some take it up north to the Gulf Coast. So it's going to be kind of a wait and see what happens. But for tonight, we'll keep our eyes on those storms out west. Now,